The Kingan report, commissioned in the wake of the 2011 riots, said that the Winstanley estate in SW11 is in the 1% of the worst places to grow up in as a child in the UK. Outsiders view it as one of the most violent and dangerous estates in London, and the average life expectancy drops by five years. 200 metres away, but still in SW11, things are very different, and the average price for a home is more than 1.5 million. And that's where I grew up. The population of Battersea south of the tracks is overwhelmingly young and well educated, but opportunity feels out of reach for some people on the Winstanley estate. I went to Providence House, a youth centre on the estate, and met Chris in his recording studio, which he built himself, with money funded by a social enterprise startup called Agency. My family grew up in Providence House as well, so like generations and generations. My grandma used to go here, uncles, when they were little, now like my age, play football and whatnot. Um, I used to come here when I was little as well. Home, 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 my whole life, family, everything's been in Stanley Estate, just literally two seconds around the corner. That's why I felt it was kind of good for me to come here and make this my little hub because I'm not a stranger, do you know what I mean? People, people will recognise my face and people will feel comfortable. My plans for the future is to get everyone to a place in their life where they feel like they can do more, kind of, with what they've got. Music is an immensely powerful tool. It moves people to do incredible things. But Chris thinks today's music focuses too much on the glamorization of violence, something he believes needs to change. I think, I think everyone gets influenced by music to some extent, you know what I mean? Whatever type of music you listen to, you're gonna get influenced by it. Like, if I was to grow up on gangster music, I'd probably be a gangster. So I think it's definitely about your musical influence, and I think if the music industry changes for the better, I think a lot of, a lot of behaviors will change for the better, and they will finally see that, right, I don't have to live this life. Like, I see 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds bump into that to, to school and like, like, getting expelled because they're bringing knives into school and stuff like that, just because of the music that they listen to. Someone got stabbed over there the other day, like, literally right outside my house, like, down, like, right there. Media, I think, does play a big part in that because telling, telling all the black kids that they're killers is just stupid, man. Chris is creative, ambitious, and wants to help young people to discover their own potential through music. He hosts live lounge events for new talent to showcase their music at Providence House. Chris was asked to document the area and record people's opinions on the regeneration. And I just got people to write down their opinions on the estate, on the, on the regeneration, like how they felt about it, and then just to hold it up. A new chapter for SW11 gives everyone hope for a better future, but you can't forget what's gone before. It feels like my home is gone, history is being erased, I'm being forced out. This is the architect for the actual regeneration, so he's drawn up the plans of the buildings and and he says we have big plans for the future, so you can never knock that, you know what I mean? They are going to change a lot. Systematic eradication of a community, a culture, a history, but most of all a home. So he's basically saying that the system is just destroying everything around him, do you know what I mean? Like he's just destroying his home, destroying his education, he's going to community, do you know what I mean? A history, a culture. For many, the regeneration symbolises the disintegration of their community and their homes but for others, it's a much needed and welcome change. The event in the park, getting everyone's opinions, it definitely made, made me change my opinion as well. Like, I'm, I'm starting to see that change is needed and it'll probably be better for, for, the, for the community. I don't have a problem with change. I have a problem with social cleansing because only 20% of the actual residents voted for full regeneration. After the regeneration, the question is, Will Chris and his whole community be allowed to return or will they be moved away from the place they call home?